FFP3 hybridization. To understand the mechanism of SP3 hybridization, let us consider a SP3 hybridized carbon atom with four SP3 hybrid orbitals. Now consider another hybridized carbon atom with four SP3 hybrid orbitals and allow these two carbon atoms to join. When they join, they form a carbon-carbon sigma bond with bond length of 1.54 angstrom. The remaining hybrid orbitals form carbon-hydrogen sigma bond with hydrogen atom with a bond length of 1.09 angstrom. But, here a question arises, that, how these sp3 hybrid orbitals are formed. To explain, his mechanism, let us consider, an ethane atom. If we look at the structure of ethane, it consists of two carbon and six hydrogen atoms. Each carbon atom is bonded by three carbon hydrogen sigma bond and one carbon carbon sigma bond. Now consider only one carbon atom. The electronic configuration of this carbon atom in ground state will be 1s2, 2s2, 2px1. 2PY1, and 2PZ0. When, this atom is excited, an electron is removed, from 2S orbital and moves to 2PZ orbital. The electronic configuration in excited state will be, 1S2, 2S1, 2PX1, 2PY1, and 2PZ1. The structure of carbon atom, after excitation will be. Now, the four orbitals that are, 2s, 2px, 2py, and 2pz intermix. This intermixing of orbitals, is known as, hybridization. As a result, of hybridization, four equal sp3 hybrid orbitals are formed. When two such hybridized carbon atoms are combined together, they form a carbon-carbon sigma bond with bond length of 1.54 angstrom and remaining six sp3 hybrid orbitals combine with hydrogen to form carbon-hydrogen sigma bond with bond length of 1.09 angstrom. This is the cycle of sp3 hybridization.